Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back, gentlemen. Welcome back to FS News. Hey, it's Tuesday, so that means it's news day. I actually really like the sound of that. I think I've been saying that almost every single Tuesday. Well, with today's news, we have news from nine different modders, so actually a lot to go over from the news side for the modders. We will be going over a huge update to the Labur 902 pack from Black Sheep Modding for consoles, plus BC Bueller has a huge sprayer trailer incoming, and it looks amazing. And also, so far at the time of recording, there is no test and list. If one comes out during recording, I'll actually have it put up in this video. Now, for the question of the day. What is your first farming simulator game? Mine was FS11. Let me know in the comments. Okay, yesterday's video, we hit it off with 400 likes, so a big thank you to you guys. Plus, we are less than 100 subs till that 94,000 mark. Wow. Let's go for two days with over 400 likes. Remember, before we get to news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Roll that intro. Let's see this news. Okay, so walk back. Okay, let's just get right into that news for today. The first one we have is actually from HR Forest. Uh, so the first mod updates are finalized and will be submitted later on this week. More mod updates coming soon. So which mods have been updated so far? There is a lot of mods that he has actually updated. The Ponzi Scorpion King, the Ponzi Harvester Pack, the Ponzi Forwarder Pack, the Bison Shuttle Punch, the Ponzi Alpine, um, I'm gonna try to pronounce that word, the Ponzi Forwarder Trailer, the Komatsu 931 pack, and the Komatsu Forwarder pack. So a lot of stuff actually been updated on that. And I'm not going to go through this update list because it would take me a long time. But some of the stuff that you can look forward to on the Ponzi Scorpion King, he's adjusted the cutting diameter, color choices corrected, original Ponzi color set, added simplified crane control and automatic tree recognition, interior material revamped, minor adjustments, added BKT tires. So there's a lot of stuff with this pack right here, and we're about to see a lot of updates from him in the future. And so the next model we're going to be talking about is actually from Black Sheep Modding, a big update will be coming soon the info pack for the 902 for console has been sent off to the mod hub at numerous tests they actually found out that the commands couldn't be fully adapted for consoles because the game wasn't initially designed for it however they've worked to create a console version of the pack 902 with standard commands so you can still enjoy it to some extent they said that they hope this version meets your expectations and provide you with an enjoyable gaming experience on consoles. It says, thank you for your continued support and passion for the game. So we should be seeing its own little pack actually come out to consoles very soon. Hopefully it's gonna fix some of those controls on there. Next, if you're into sugarcane, we actually have a mod coming soon from Senior Vertex. This is about the Lizard Tech 10, oh, sorry, 10,500. Uh, transshipment arrives in its latest 2.0 update, had been completely rebuilt from the ground up. The bottle now has completely new 3DS, as well as improvements and new sound systems ported over from its bigger brother, the TAC 21000. In addition, they now have the newest version for transporting grain, as many have also requested too. So we're about to get all of that very soon. I mean, man, we have a lot of updates coming, a lot of updates, a lot of fixes. Another update coming is from Joss Modding. He's still working on the liftable belt update, but he's done some small things in between. He submitted a fix for the extended cr uh, straw crops. It could well, sorry, it would cause errors when a map did not have the supported crop type. So that would be a PC only one right there. He also did a visual update for the pancake pallets for the pr uh, pancake production. He has some mods that have ugly cardboard boxes with an icon. He wants to improve those. With some help from FSG modding uh, Tasman, he can do this. Uh, third, a small and purely fun addition to the pancake production will also be submitted too. A must have for ultimate pancake fanatics. Also, be careful what you download on any website other than the official mod hub. If you find any of his mods outside the mod hub, those are not uploaded by him. Yeah, I've been having a lot of people having problems on PC with, you know, third party mods or, you know, edits of other people's mods. If you guys are wanting to download mods and if you're on PC, use the official mod hub or use King Mods. Those are my suggestions right there. King Mods, amazing place to get all of your mods. Okay, next, we have some news from Sloosh Modding about his John Deere 2030A. It is now in the final stages of the in-game assembly. Soon, it should be sent to the mod up. This is going to be for all platforms. And then something else that's going to be big and, well, 
A lot bigger than what that is. Well, I mean, something that you can actually store that thing in. And that is from Mapper's Paradise, a big machine. Well, big machines needed a big shop. So this is going to be coming out soon, along, of course, of his uh, Millennial Farmer uh, shed pack. So a lot of stuff actually coming from Mapper's Paradise. And all of that will be for all platforms. After that, if you're into beets, carrots, or parsnips, this might be your machine right here. This is from 4D Modding is Armor Salmon Beaver Two Row Harvester. It says, finally getting around to starting the 3D model for this. The goal is to have a full range of Armor Salmon equipment. One, two, three row harvesters, a planter, a cleaner loader, washer, and cultivator, plus a beet chopper. Uh, so, we don't know if this is gonna be coming out to all platforms, but it'd be very interesting to finally get this. And, I mean, Finally, some mods that actually deals with the new crops. Now, next, we have some news from Lancy Boy. A lot of people have been, well, I mean, a few people has been talking about they've been having some problems on his Stone Valley update. Sometimes the map would load up to 50%. Sometimes it would mess up. Well, anyways, he says that he actually messaged Create a Mesh regarding the straw harvest on console. Uh, he's 100% happy with their response. So, this is the response. Thank you for your email. They received a lot of messages regarding the console version of two maps. One of the maps concerned is Stone Valley 22. He has just contact. Oh, sorry. I, he just contacted to a Giants employee and checked with one of their consoles. The map loaded just fine. Either there is a mod conflict or players are not creating a new save game for the updated version of the map. Hopes this helps. So if you guys are having problems on Stone Valley, make sure you guys check your mods. Most of the time it is actually your mods. There's some incompatible mods or something like that. Looks like the straw harvest is actually working perfect on the map. Uh, the only problem I'm having with the straw harvest is it does not work great on servers. I don't know about the regular multiplayer, but on my server, it does not work that great because my MS spikes. I mean, and we get lots and lots of lag. So if you guys are also having problems, let me know in the comments section below. Now onto the last piece of news for today. And this is actually from our good friend, BC Bueller. He says he's guesses some of you will be pumped that he is working on a sprayer trailer again. So a huge sprayer, sprayer trailer will be coming out very soon. I mean, he's making some good stuff. I'm glad he is back to making some mods. And as you see right here, this is what the sprayer trailer can look like. Wow, I will definitely be using this because I hate going back and forth. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the news for today. Kind of sucks we didn't get a test on this. Hopefully we do get one later on today. And I'm also hoping we also get some mods today. What is today's schedule? Today's schedule is there's no other videos, no live streams or anything like that. The next live stream will actually be tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. A like would be appreciated. Remember, we're trying to go over for that 400 likes. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the club. Don't forget to hit that sub button and ring that bell. Remember, I post videos every single day on my favorite game, Farming Simulator. Have an amazing day, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Maybe half past two A little drunk when I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like